What's going on guys, my name is the AFK Abby and today we are going over five super easy money makers when first starting your Iron Man account on Old School RuneScape. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I do upload Old School RuneScape videos every single day, so if that's something you enjoy, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Now, although all of these are easy, they are gonna get progressively harder. And when I say progressively harder, the last one is just literally completing a quest and then you have to constantly feed and interact with a little animal before you can sell it. And the easiest one being just picking something up and selling it at a shop. Let's get right into this. 2500 agility XP for completing the Ardoin easy diaries, which we will be discussing in this video. So there's my 2500 level 31. It's a beautiful thing. We'll take some free XP. Now coming in first is collecting bronze chain bodies. Again, this list is not like top to bottom. Like this is like the number one money maker. This is just the easiest. There's no requirements. All you have to do is pick one up and then go sell it. You can find bronze chain bodies spawning north of Boot. And if you don't know who Boot is, Boot is a dwarf found in the Dwarven Mines. And he plays a small part in the Family Crest quest. I try to say that five times fast. I've never done these money making methods before except for one of them. And that is the next one you'll be hearing about but let's go ahead and try to find these chain bodies and then sell them and i want to show you guys exactly how easy all of these are now obviously i ran out of run energy this is a new account so you're likely to run out of run energy as well but here's the bronze chain body pick it up hop worlds we'll start with 302 hopefully we're not in competition with anybody else and this goes pretty seamless here we go bronze chain body and you just keep doing this over and over and then you'll see up here we do have a general store you're going to go to that general store you're going to sell like one at a time to get the most profit and the profit goes down a little bit if you start selling like two or three at a time per world so sell one to three world hop and then continue the rotation make as much money as you'd like i'm not exactly sure how much money that we're going to be making an hour i don't want to implement that i just want to show you guys some really easy money makers so I have eight of them. Let's go ahead and run to this general store. And by saying run, I mean walk because we are still out of run energy. But let's go to the general store, pop in. Let's see how much these are going to sell for. So we'll trade dwarf. These are going for 18 coins. So not the best. When you sell one, it'll then be 16 coins. And then if you go for three per world, it'll be 14 coins. So it's about 400 GP per trip, a little more, but we're just going to stick with about 400 per trip. It's not bad for just starting out. And Iron Man, you know, you kind of take what you can get. All right, let's go on to the next one. Hardcore Iron Man, do not do this method. I should have put it in the beginning. Smart me would edit this and put it in the beginning of this slot right here on number two. And Iron Man just starting out, you probably don't have that many teleports. Go over to this grouping tab. Go over here to the grouping tab again. Scroll down to the selecting activity. Go to Clan Wars. You'll end up right here at the Ferox Enclave. This enclave is perfect because you can refill your run energy here and your health, prayer. The reason we are on a free to play world is so we can dodge all of the green dragons. There's no dragons over here in the free to play worlds. So when doing this method, which is collecting steel play legs, you wanna run out here to the Eastern ruins. When you're on a member's world, this is populated by green dragons. So we don't want that. If you're low HP, also be careful because there is red spiders out here. And as you can see, a couple people do do this money making method because it is free to play as well as pay to play. So members and free users feel free to use this. So now we just kind of hop around. So doing the same thing as the bronze chain bodies, we're gonna hop, grab one, hop, grab one, hop, grab one. But we're not gonna be selling to a general store. What we're gonna be doing is going to Louis Legs and Al Karid. And there we can sell the play legs for a pretty decent price. This is my go-to moneymaker when just beginning an account that's an Iron Man. Because like, no one's here. I've never got attacked before. I have got hit by green dragons before, just being careless. And I've had some close calls when it comes to the dragons or the spiders when I'm low HP. Straight from here, you can run back to the Ferox Enclave. It's just south. Make sure you're on a free-to-play world. You can hit the restoration pool so you can refill your run energy, your health, your prayer. Hit the home teleport to Lumbridge and then run to Alcarid. Just make sure you have some coins to pass the gate, of course. Oh, see, I almost actually just made the mistake. I started running out before even switching worlds. We were on a member's world. You guys were about to see me die. Practice what you preach, you know? All right, so let's run out. Again, hit the portal. May as well, you had to run back here anyway. So teleport home to Lumbridge. Hopefully you can go to this bank right here and grab some coins. If you forgot, grab some coins in Lumbridge and then run over here to Al Karid. So while I'm running here, what I do while I do this method is I'll grab a whole empty inventory. So that'll be 28 steel plate legs. Run back to Ferox Enclave, bank them, hit the restoration pool and go back. It's so nice to have so many plate legs to sell because the GP starts piling up so fast when you do this method. This one is my favorite. It's so much so my favorite that I completely ran right by it and we just did a whole turnaround. Trade with Mr. Louis Legs. 
usually hop to a member's world because the free to play is pretty populated when doing this and they usually take up all the free to play shops. So you just noticed that it was already eight steel plate legs there, which means someone absolutely ransacked all of the free to play world. So right now we have two value buy for 650. Woo! I usually sell three at a time. So it goes from 650 to 640 to 630 and then I'll hop. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, for this next money maker, all you wanna do is make sure that you have a knife, an ax, and at least five fletching. Because all you're gonna do is chop down some trees and make them into the best bow that you possibly can. So right now we have eight fletching on here. Go to the bow section. You can start with a short bow. No matter what, we're gonna be selling these to a general store. And then when it becomes profitable enough, you'll want to just start high alking these bows anyway. So that means a short bow, long bow, oak short bows, oak long bows. So whatever is the best one you can do with your fletching and woodcutting level, that's the one to go for. For us, that's just simply regular logs, turning those into short bows. By doing this, you just cut the tree, get your regular log, use your knife, on the log and make the short bow. At level 10, we can make these into long bows and those will sell for even better. Simple enough. All right, so once you have this inventory full of any type of bow, again, just the highest that you can make. I did a little bit of fletching while I was away. We're up to 11, which means that we started making some long bows. So instead of you guys seeing those short bows, we did make some long bows, trade those in. Looks like they're going for 24 each. That's not bad for training a skill, especially when you're just beginning your Iron Man. Got to get some fletching up anyway. So we'll just sell a couple of those. Sell three, world hop, sell three, world hop, sell three. You know, kind of the same thing we've been doing with the steel plate legs, with the bronze chain bodies. So you guys are already used to this by now. Now this next method is stealing silk. You want to steal some silk from this silk stall right here when you are 20 thieving. Quickly, you can get 20 thieving by spawning in Lumbridge, pickpocketing some men or women until five, a level five thieving coming over here to the Ardoin market. On the east side of the Ardoin market, you will see the baker stall. You can stand right there under the baker and just steal from the stall as much as you'd like. Just do it right there where he's standing exactly. Now, you're 20 thieving. What you want to do is steal some silk. You want to make sure that this knight of Ardoin is not sitting there. So there is a good example of getting hit by the knight. So what I'm going to do since he's sitting there, I'm going to hop worlds and see if he's standing there on a different world. All right, looks like we're good to go. He's in front of the stall, which doesn't matter. He just kind of has to be near us for that to start triggering. So there's one. There it is again. This hero obviously isn't a hero because he, he looks like he doesn't care if we steal from stalls. It's a false hero. But once you have your set amount of silk, however much you want, you're just gonna have to wait until you can sell these to the merchant. And that merchant is located right over here, south of the market. He's gonna be in the southwest corner. So it might be nice to steal and then go bank and then do something else because 20 minutes in old school RuneScape flies by very quickly. After your last silk and you waited the 20 minutes, you wanna come to the silk merchant, talk to them, tell them you have some to sell. Tell them you wanna sell it for 120, they'll pay 50, so then you wanna negotiate again and say I'll give it to you for 60. There you go, bought for 60 each. Now with this last moneymaker, it is strongly encouraged to have your Ardoin cloak one at least. So that's just this Ardoin easy diary. Like have wizard Cromperty teleport you to the rune essence mine, which requires the completion of rune mystery, steal a cake from the Ardoin Marcus stalls, which we were just talking about, sell silk to silk trader and Ardoin for 60 coins each. Once you complete all these in the easy diaries, you turn that in at the bar over there in the East Ardoin, and you can get this nice Ardoin cloak one. Now let's say you don't have your Ardoin cloak one, that's perfectly fine, no need to worry about it. You'll just get half of what we get right here when we complete the Gertrude's cat quest. She gives us a kitten. We interact with the kitten and feed the kitten for a couple hours. The kitten turns into a pet cat. So then you talk to any civilian over here in West Ardoin. It's like the southwest corner of West Ardoin as well. So just use your pet cat on the civilian and there you go, 200 death runes. And that's a free 32K. All you had to do was walk that cat around, feed it, pet it a couple times while you're training anyway. It's not bad at all, 200 death runes, guys. And now that your pet cat is permanently gone, what you can do is go back to Gertrude, like west of Varrock, over there in that area. She'll sell you another kitten for 100 coins, which seems pretty bad that she's just selling you kittens that you're gonna constantly sell over and over. But that's a conversation for later. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you are on your beginning Iron Man journey, I hope that it is an absolute amazing one. I'm on my first true main Iron Man right now trying to complete this quest cape grind slowly but surely but we will get it done. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. I upload old screwscape videos every single day and I hope that I will see you tomorrow.